All right, good evening. There we go. Welcome to the Clackamas High School 2023 graduation. My name is Kim Street and I'm the assistant principal here at Clackamas High School. I'm sure you've received numerous emails from me about this graduation, so I'm done with those. You're welcome. I will also be your MC for this evening, so you'll see a little bit of me here and there, in case you're gonna miss me. Uh, before we get started, I would like to personally thank our graduation committee, uh, Laura Nelson, John Stewart, Alina Morales, Balanuk, Kalindi Garcia, and Danielle McKay, who volunteered countless hours with me to plan this ceremony. I would also like to thank our counselors, our teachers, and all of our classified staff who have supported these students every day to make this very special day possible. And all right, without further ado, Let's get this party started with a little pomp and circumstance from the one and only me. I'm totally kidding. We have a far better musical performance coming from you from the CHS band directed by Caleb Ross, who will process our class of 2023 in right now. Take it away, band. <laughs>
All right, thank you, CHS Band. Woo! I have the mic. I can be louder. And let's give a very loud special welcome to the graduating class of 2023 from Clackamas High School. All right. At this time, I'm going to ask that you rise and remove your hats, unless it is a cap that is strategically attached to your head for graduation purposes. And then it is going to be my pleasure to introduce senior Alexander Gunderson, and for all of you to hear her incredible talent and beautiful performance of the national anthem. Alexandra, you're on. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the past Last fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets were clear, the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. Thank you, Alexandra. Your voice gets me every single time. That was incredible. Well done. Also a very tough, tough act to follow, but somebody has to. So it is with my great pleasure to introduce the principal of Clackamas High School, Stacy Edo. Good evening, Cavs. My name is Stacy Eto, and I have the privilege of being the principal at Clackamas High School. Today marks a significant milestone as we gather here to celebrate the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance of the graduating class of 2023. I would like to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you, family, friends, staff, and students. Your presence here today is a testament to the unwavering support and encouragement that has brought us to this moment. At this time, I would respectfully like to begin with a Native land acknowledgement. We acknowledge the land on which we sit rests on the traditional and indigenous lands and village sites of the Native peoples of the Kalapuya, Chinook, Malala, and the Clackamas. We take this opportunity to offer gratitude for the ability to learn, work, and be a community on this land. And we offer thanks to the original caretakers of this region. We recognize the historic policies of colonization, genocide, relocation, and assimilation that affected indigenous and native families, both past and present, and that will affect those in the future and honor the resilience and revitalization of our indigenous and native communities. We pay our respects to the elders, both past and present, who have been the stewards of this land throughout the generations. Thank you. On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of our district leaders who have supported their high school achievements. I would like to acknowledge and thank our board of directors, Libra Ford, Stephen Schrodel, Orlando Perez, 
Mitzi Bauer, Kathy Way, Tori McVeigh, and Gina Beneloga for all of their support for, of our graduating seniors. Whether they are on stage, in the audience, or behind the scenes this evening, we appreciate your efforts on behalf of our students. I would also like to thank Superintendent James and Assistant Superintendent Dibley for their leadership and support of the class of 2023. Next, I am pleased to announce that we will have a staff speaker this year to address the class of 2023. As you know, our dedicated teachers provide more than just a high quality education at CHS. They are oftentimes also mentors, coaches, club advisors, and strong advocates for our students' future. Knowing the important role of an educator, I couldn't think of a better individual to address our current seniors than someone who is in the classroom with them each and every day. With that being said, it is my pleasure to welcome our first speaker of the evening. Please give a warm welcome to our amazing Spanish teacher, Ms. Alex Smith. Hello, that's Senorita Smith, the semi-view. I'm a Spanish teacher at Clackamas High School, and it's my honor to represent the teachers and celebrate y'all today. And you look so cute in your fancy hats, how you can't see me, and you're doing this. Oh. I know y'all are feeling some sort of way, like a mix of nervous, anxious, exhausted, excited, all at once. Sometimes change feels kind of like grief. Like this stage of your life has come to an end and you don't know what tomorrow involves. However you're feeling, I hope you make space to feel proud. Speaking of change, y'all have been through it. Your graduating class has been through something that no class has ever been through. COVID hitting freshman year and then sophomore year online, some of you logged into class. And some of you logged in to class and were there. Whether you participated that year or elaborately pretended and took many naps, y'all suddenly, without any adults during the day sometimes, managed your own time. And if you're sitting here today, it means you made it through. Then we came back junior year and had to mask up and breathe in our own bad breath. And y'all did better than I thought, honestly. I think I saw more fights about masks amongst adults at the grocery store. Y'all acted in solidarity with one another, regardless of your political stance or individual circumstances, and it was impressive to witness. And it wasn't all great. Kids were shy. Y'all didn't know each other. Some of you forgot how to talk to each other. If you were lucky enough to make friends, cherish those relationships. And if you didn't make many, remember that there are so many people in your life that are gonna make a difference that you haven't even met yet. Also, did y'all remember last year when it was a trend to pull down the soap dispensers and the towel dispensers and then take the food and put it in the toilet with the paper towel so that nobody in any high school in America could use any bathroom? We made it through that too. Which brings me to my first pieces of advice. First of all, I'm sure it was the underclassmen. Right? Right? Okay. Don't do things that make people's life harder. And don't believe everything you see on the internet is a good idea. All of this is to say is that y'all have been through a lot. So much change has been thrown at you, and it's all right if you're still figuring yourself out. Adults are still figuring things out. But you showed up, you started to open up, making jokes, making art, playing sports, playing games, being goofy, and you worked on days when you felt like you had nothing else to give. So even if you are scared of change, y'all have experienced a lot pretty much a roller coaster of uncertainty, and you did make it through, and it is a big accomplishment, and I am proud of you. So now they gave me this microphone, actually two. Hey, hey, this one, this one, hey. 
Um, so now it's time for me to drop some wisdom on you. Okay, pretty much the, treat, the trick is be kind, figure out what matters, and don't worry about what doesn't matter. But here's some specific advice. <clears throat> Confidence is a muscle that you can grow. Every time you do something that scares you and you do it anyway. It does help to have one really embarrassing moment that you've lived through so that every other embarrassing moment after that pales in comparison. For me, it was senior year, cross country, when I pooped my pants. There was no bathroom, no running water, just porta potty. And sure, I was nervous today to give this speech, but nothing's gonna be as bad as that. And then I just told this whole stadium, so I pretty much can't be embarrassed of anything. Okay, find your moment and hold on to it. Oh, thank you. They've pooped their pants as well. <laughs> okay, I have some financial advice. I am a teacher, so take it in stride, but uh, Piece number one, start a retirement account now. I'm serious, don't look at me like that, okay? Did you know that people who have money just make their money, make money, they don't even do anything? I know, but that could be you too. If y'all start right now, you're gonna be richer than me and retire me before me. So look it up, ask your parents, knowledge is power. Retirement accounts, now, okay? Okay, my next piece of advice is once you've paid your bills and you have your emergency account, figure out where your money goes. For example, I don't know, BlackRock, uh, those stupid Yeezy slides you guys wear, Uber Eats, like figure out wh where you can cut some stuff out and make a travel fund. Plan a trip as often as you can so you always have something to look forward to because when you're like 80 years old, you're not gonna remember the things you bought, but you will remember the experiences you got to have. And I'm not rich, I'm a teacher. I graduated high school 15 years ago. I've been to like 20 countries. You can do it. You get a little money, you save a little money, you take a trip, you start over. But first start the retirement account. Okay, I got a couple uh, body issue advice. Um, one, just tell yourself you're hot. It works. Um, other people tell themselves there's a hot pile of garbage. In either situation, it doesn't really affect how you look, so you might as well tell yourself the one that makes you feel better. And if it, you can't convince yourself, just know there's always people prettier than you, but, there will always be people uglier than you too, and that's not super nice. It's not super nice to compare either way, but just cut yourself some slack and tell yourself you're hot. The other piece of advice is exercise, and not to get all swole or be as small as possible, because again, we ain't got time for that. Because it's medicine for your brain, especially if you have a spazzy brain like me that's like all the time, okay? It'll make you feel better, find your thing. Jiu-jitsu, circus camp, walking the dog, find something. And finally, be kind. We all wanna make a difference in this world, and it's really easy to do if you recognize that every interaction you have with other people can have a positive or impact, positive or negative impact on them. For example, when a kid gives me a compliment, that's good. When they, people flip me off in traffic because I'm a bad driver, bad. Uh, last year, where's Carter? I said, wait, when Carter Schlegel was in my class and I had a marker and I was being spazzy and I flung it across the room and his beautiful white shoes the marker marked them all up. He had every right to be mean to me. I knew I was bad. I knew I did a wrong thing. And he was nice. He said, it's okay, Miss Smith. I could tell he was like, mm -hmm, on the inside. But he said, it's okay. Choose to be kind because people around you remember the way you made them feel. And that's a beautiful thing. 
Cherish and cultivate those relationships that matter to you. Call up your parents, tell people you love them all the time, plan trips with your friends, have tough conversations when they're needed, and apologize often. Relationships are all we have at the end of the day. So we're gonna do a cute little thing. <laughs> okay, and you don't have to participate, but like in life, it's more fun when you do. So students, I want you to just kind of put your hands in your lap for a second. Parents, families, everyone who came here, I want you to take your hands and start rubbing them together like this. Not you guys, everyone else. Okay, that's not good enough. We're gonna do snaps, snap, okay. Okay, when you guys are snapping, I want you to think about the people or the person that you came here to celebrate and I want you to send them love. I want you to think how proud you are of them. Okay, students, I want you to put your hands on your heart and just feel it. I want you to promise that you're gonna support them, whether they take the path you want them to or do their own thing, because we know we can't control them. And this sound, that's what, so this is what love sounds like. Oh! I hope you guys know you're loved, you matter, and you freaking did it. I'm out. <laughs>well thank you miss smith i'll say i learned a couple things there that i didn't know about you but i will never forget <clears throat> all right next up our eagerly waiting a choir directed by scott davis will be singing things that never die a choir take it away the pure the bright the beautiful
And now, please welcome our assistant principal, Alyssa Engel, who will be introducing our salutatorians, valedictorians, and senior class officers. All right, so for this part, I've got quite a few students to recognize, so we're going to do what's called the power clap. So after I say student's name, we're just going to give one big loud clap, and at the very end, we're going to give a round of applause for everybody. So at this time, I would like to honor our salutatorians. These students have earned all A's and only one B during the entire four years of high school. Please stand when I call your name. We're gonna do a power clap after each one and then a big round of applause. So join me in honoring Zachary Anderson. Sam, Sam Bernard, Annika Chan, Olivia Gordon, Cambry Hawkins, Mason Liu, Grace McMurray, Teresa Nguyen, Carter Schlegel, Michael Simonson, Rachel Turner, Reagan Wally, and Megan Wilson. Join me in a round of applause for our salutatorians. All right. You may be seated. All right, now it's my honor to recognize our valedictorians. So as you know, these students have earned the highest academic honor during their four years of high school. Each student recognized has earned all, all A's during their four years, a perfect 4.0 GPA. Again, please stand, and we'll recognize everybody with a round of applause at the end. All right, Halsey Brummett. <laughs> Shayla Edge. Braden Fong, Piper Goss, Nina Hart, Cami Horner, Samantha Hubbard, Ann Khan, Mila Kraljev, Lily Moss, Emmy Marshall, Ryan Mogul. Kira Wynn, Addie Packham, Christian Park, Alexander Pamikalam Marquez, Lily Price, Jordan Richline, Gavin Ripley, Suda Safi, Owen Swanson, Logan Wacker, Alexa Wilkins, Ava Wong, and Kai Wong. Please join me in a round of applause for our 2023 valedictorians. You may be seated. All right, now we are going to recognize and thank our senior class officers and our ASB officers. They have put in countless hours as they worked to provide activities for our class of 2023. So please stand up again when I call your name. President Kay Bledsoe. Co-President Rafi Bulukluk. Senior Class Representative, Ephrafa Asifa. Senior Class Rep, Amanda Barr. Senior Class Rep, James Nguyen. Senior Class Rep, class rep Alexander Pamakalia Marquez. Senior Class Rep, Zachary Sun. Senior Class Rep, Reagan Wally and Senior Class Rep, Ellen Zen. And we have some ASB officers as well. 
President Trinity Porotosano. <laughs> Vice President Christian Herndon. Our Commissioner of Equity, Isabella Rexaporo. And our Commissioner of Spirit, Savannah Stahl. Join me in a round of applause for these officers. Thank you. Thank you, Alyssa, and congratulations to you all. What amazing accomplishments. Next up, it is my pleasure to re uh, introduce, just tripping over my own words, uh, our next student performer, Rafi Bulaklak, who will be singing a beautiful song for us. Go ahead, Rafi. Let's hear it for Rafi. Nice job, buddy. All right, at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce and invite our student body class president and senior, Trinity Papa Portisano, to address the class of 2023.
Thank you, Ms. Street, for the introduction. Um, hello, families and friends of the class of 2023. And of course, hello to my fellow graduates. Uh, I want to start off by saying sorry to my parents for not telling you ahead of time. Uh, they, don't, they didn't know that I was doing a speech today. Uh, I kind of forgot to tell them, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, to my family supporting me from back home, hello. My name is Trinity Simalua Mema Pao Portisano, and I stand before you as the student body president of Clackamas High School for the 2022-2023 school year. First, a huge congratulations to the class of 2023. When I was first told that I would be speaking, I was overwhelmed with anxiety and I was lost for a while on what to deliver today. I asked many students and several staff members what to say, and the top answers were, don't, man don't mention the pandemic, call this a canon event, and speak from the heart. Can you guess who said what? For as long as I've imagined, I never thought that I would be standing up here today, whether that is speaking or walking across the stage. I never believed that this day would truly come and I would be here for it. And I know I'm not the only one. Many of you in the crowd have expressed to me how distant graduation seemed and how slow the year of 2023 was coming along. And, that was a, and there was a lot of self-doubt among you graduates and your futures about your futures. But I say, be proud of yourselves. Today may be the first day for some of you to truly say that you are proud of yourselves, and it is for me. Looking back at my years of high school, there were mistakes I wish I could take back. But then I thought more, and I realized that these were mistakes I had to be grateful for. Without making mistakes, I wouldn't have learned from them. And you see, I have learned to live a life of gratitude growing up with the Fa'asamoa way which means the Samoan way of life. So today, with the time I've been given, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who has helped me in the class of 2023. First, I would like to thank the faculty of Clackamas High School on behalf of the class of 2023 for the support and encouragement during our four years of high school. To our teachers who have lent more than what is asked of them, who listened and empathized with their students, and who made us feel safe at times when all we needed was a safe space to think. We thank you. I want to take this time to thank my family and my parents who have made many hard sacrifices to ensure the life, um, to ensure that I would be successful and experience a life they never had access to. To my grandparents, who unfortunately are not here today, I love you and I thank you for your guidance. My grandpa Sene Portisano and grandma Mema Pell, who taught me to stay steady in my faith and pursue life, a life of giving and love. My grandpa Faliseo Eliu Pao Pao and grandma Telesia Vailua Alhing Pao Pao, who left this world um, with their only wish for me to pursue my passion and do well in school. To my mom, who left her family and her village to come to America and further her education, your bravery and intelligence will never fail to motivate me in becoming like you. I apologize for crying. <laughs> Thank you for pushing me even when I told you not to do it. I needed it, but I never would admit it. <sighs> to my dad, who was able to recall the day he arrived in America in perfect detail, better detail than when he welcomed twins into this world. He made the trip at 20 years old boarded his, an airplane and made the journey to Portland, Oregon. Arrived in PDX on Monday, August 3rd, 1998, wearing his favorite FUBU white t-shirt and denim echo shorts with his slippers. He quickly began working at a company offering a competitive pay at $8.50. At $8 he was so excited that he called my grandma, telling her that he had struck gold. I wouldn't take that payment. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for showing me perseverance and teaching me to lead with my heart. To my dear twin sister, my number one supporter, thank you for everything. To my family back home, I love you all. Now I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop crying. But um, now I'd like to revisit a time about three years ago, in the summer of 2020, I discovered my passion for equity, youth advocacy, and spreading awareness around my culture. For those of you unaware, I am involved in several extracurriculars dealing with equity in school, in the county, and in the Portland metropolitan area. 
This past year, I have been honored and so very grateful to serve as the student body president on the executive council and to serve as the president for the Asian and Pacific Islander Student Union. Now, if you know me, you also know that I was never, ever interested in being heavily involved in leadership and in school. I was shy, and for some reason, even though I was born here, my FOB accent peeked through to other students who would point out how I pronounced certain words, so I hated speaking. In 2021, I struggled a lot with my mental health and self-doubt. I dreamed of being spontaneous and inspired to be a talkative person. That very same year, Mrs. Tumalad, who has played a big, big part in my journey as a le leader, encouraged me to apply to become an officer for APISU. Along with Mrs. Tumlaud, the past activities director, encouraged me to apply to join the ASB Executive Council. I decided to apply for pos both positions, and I, won I had won both elections. Without the push and encouragement of many incredible teachers and staff at CHS, I wouldn't be standing on this stage today speaking to you all. I am grateful to Mrs. Tumalad, Mrs. Ms. Klemek, Mr. Ariano Sanchez, Mr. Bailey, Ms. Eto, Ms. Lee, and Abby Ajifu. What they all did was recognize a passion in me that I never knew, and they encouraged me to grow into who I am now. These adults weren't just change, life changers in my, li in my life, but for many other students. We saw that at our grad practice last Friday when Ms. Lee had been awarded not just one, but three crimson apples. Mr. Ariano Sanchez and Mr. Bailey had won golden apples, and I was lucky enough to see Mr. Bailey do whatever dance that was because of his excitement. I really thought he was running towards me, but he was running towards the stage. Um, we see all of their offices and classrooms filled with students who feel safe to joke around and be a kid in those rooms. All of, adults, all of the adults that I had just listed before have one thing in common. They all genuinely and passionately teach and provide for students 24-7. These people have been an inspiration to me and for those of you in the crowd. Like them, I know that you all will be an inspiration to many and with the passion that I have seen many of you exhibit throughout the years, there is no doubt in my mind that this future generation of educators, adventurers, Tradespeople, firefighters, and essential workers will grow to do amazing things in our community. Lastly, I want to thank you, graduates. I look into the crowd today and I see peers whom I've known for 10 years and some even longer. Peers who I've grown apart from and peers I've grown close to. Peers that I've played a part in my journey in becoming who I am today. Memories are one of the greatest gifts one can give to another. Not only are they free, but they make life worth living. The memories that I've made with you all are a gift that I will never take for granted. Watching you all as my classmates and my friends grow to realize your passions, your strengths, and how to turn your life into one, um, one you want was a blessing in itself. Thank you for the many laughs, the lessons, the memories, and the meaningful friendships that I can look back on. To my fellow graduates, this is just the beginning of a new book with a fresh new chapter for each and every one of us. When we leave this place, let all your worries and doubts you once had about high school and your future be washed away by the reminder that you are here today as a graduate of the class of 2023. To those scared to take the next step as I once did, I dare you, and yes, I say dare, to take risks and test your boundaries. Never limit yourself to only what you to only what you think is possible and doable. Love yourself as much as you love others. Find those places that make you feel grateful to exist and make mistakes and be grateful for the sacrifices you and your family have made. With that being said, thank you to everyone in the audience today and especially to my family, your ASB president, Trinity Papaportisano signing off. Thank you, Trinity. I know that you worked exceptionally hard on that speech up until the very last minute, and it was worth it because it was perfect. Great job. All right. Now, the moment that you have all been waiting for.
Wait for it. Just another moment. It is my pleasure to bring Stacey Edo, our principal, back to the stage to present the class of 2023 and so we can get those diplomas rolling. All right. Well, to begin, I would like to introduce our name readers for the evening from our language arts department, John Stewart, Libby Shergi, and Leslie Hunter, and from our, and from our theater department, Tyler Oser. Thank you so much for being here today. Graduates, we have finally arrived at the special moment you each have worked so hard for. You will be called up to walk across this stage in celebration of not only your academic accomplishments, but also the incredible impact you have made on the Clackamas community. When your name is called, be sure to stand tall, walk with pride, and take a moment to acknowledge those who have supported you along the way. To our Cavalier families and friends, as a parent myself, I can only imagine how incredibly important this moment is for you to hear your student called onto this stage. So to ensure that everyone can hear each of our graduates' names, we are going to celebrate by giving one power clap after each name is called, and at the very end, we'll join together and for a large applause of the class of 2023. North Clackamas School Board members and Superintendent Dr. Shay James, I am proud to present to you the Clackamas High School inaugural graduating class, the class of 2023. I hereby certify that the graduates before you have successfully completed all of the graduation requirements set forth by the North Clackamas School District and the State of Oregon. To recognize this achievement, we will now issue diplomas. Jacob David Cravens. <laughs> Sophia G. Nguyen. Tongi Afu Vika Afu Lorenzo Albani Manar G. Aljabori Myra Gabriella Andalon Zachary Michael Anderson Sit Lolly Ariola. Summer Diane Artman. Afretha Asafa. 
Efren James Aston. Serenity Isabella Avent. Sally Ayash. Elliot Ayala. Paul Bashinsky. Blake Elliot Baker. Lily Grace Ann Ball. Wei Ban. Sam Bernard. Amanda Barr. Christina Sophia Bagan. Isaac Lee Bidek. Cooper James Belts. John Sebastian Benavides. Yona Blaya. Riley Blanchett. Kay Bledsoe. Bo Bogue. Audrey Diane Bothman. Jake Stephen Brady. Keely Grace Branch. Sora Brown. Halsey Lynn Brummett. Eliza Burke. Rafi Balukluk. Wyatt Malcolm Burns. Debonair Campbell. Alyssa Love Campos. Katie Trin Carlson. Seth Alexander Catan. Annika Cami Chan. Benjamin Son Chow. Alyssa Ming Chen. Isaac George Cheney. Lillian Ko. Alexander Apostolos Condragus. Destiny Doreen Corbis. Garrett Connor Cornwall. Molly Amber Cottrell. Maya Lee Coverstone. Kylia Sage Craig. Lachlan Allen Cranston. Gabriel Kai Crouch. Nathan James Crouchley. Brian Cruz. Larissa Genelie Cruz Tulipat. Liam John Dady. Eddie Vu Dang. Lawson Thomas Darrow. Madeline Grace Davis.
Regina Leonor Diaz Garcia. Hong Min Do. Tui Kim Do. Gavin Michael Doan. Olivia Rose Doan. Emily B. Vo Dong. Allison Joelle Dullum. Jaslyn Grace Ebel. Shayla Nicole Edge. Daniel Philip Edgren. Gabriel El Mosella. Violet Renee Emerson. Gianni William Esser. Corinne Cecilia Evans. Gabrielle Marie Evrard. Trent Patrick Yori. Bryn Marie Ferris. Jaden Wade Fetty. Cody Stephen Fisher. Jenna Grace Flabetich. Esteban Flores. Braden Jacob Fong. Zachariah Charles Frazier. Jake Dylan Fukai. Destiny Galvan. Ricardo Garcia. Peyton Marie Gast. Justin P. Gaiomali. Aliyah Marie Galasio. Lydia Gamechu. Dylan Thomas Gentili. Miles Jabot. Rebecca Eileen Marie Glander. Olivia Rose Gordon. Piper Audrey Goss. Riley Grenier. Rose Sunny Guerra. Asher Wolfgang Gundberg. Alexandra Ann Gunderson. Daniel Robert Gunderson. Parker James Harrison. Nina Hart. Cambry Peyton Hawkins. Becca Ruth Herman. Chris Robert Herndon. Montserrat Herrera Flores. Ethan A. Higgins. Salama Hills Finesca. Jaden Kong Hong. 
Yoshi Matthew Wong. Lauren Angela Hobson. Jordan Jonathan Hodson. Ave Aleo Hom. Cameron Marie Horner. Samantha Renee Donna Hubbard. Olivia Rose Hutchinson. Nan Tran Tian Huin. Royce Jenkins. Cameron Thomas Johnson. Keontae Lionel Johnson Gibson. Alexa Jolie Keenan. Noah Joseph Kelly. On Khan. Lois Kim. Tyler Everett King. Kaya Sierra Klug. Casey Constance Kenitza. Mila Nicole Kraljev. Nicholas Gerard Krummenacher. Aiden Lai. Amara Manone Lalonde. Ella Marie Latku. Jennifer Lee. Katie Anta Lay. Yen Fung Lee. David Ledesma Ramirez. Joshua Lee. Robbie Lee. Mason Liu. Raven Michael Lortz. Ava Christensen Luger. Tree Cow Ma. Lily Moss. Mateo Gomez Maihara. Kelsey Ireland Maine. Lily Catherine Manning. Jaden Christopher Mansfield. Ryan Marr. Alexander Marsh. Amelia Ann Marshall. Parker James Marshall. Callista Ann Martin. Chantel Martin. Henry Isaac Martin. Jace Marquise Martin. Linus Andrew McAfee. Jake Matthew McCall. 
Sarah Elizabeth McCollum. Sullivan Stephen McDaniel. Molly McGinnis. Mackenzie Michelle McIntyre. Grace Ann McMurray. Caden Reese Mesplay. Ethan Benjamin Miller. Payson Daniel Moffitt. Ryan Shea Mogul. Kevin Morales Viafan. Cody Alexander Morgan. Jaden James Moyella. M Mira Narkavage. Ashton Alexander Nikas. Jennifer No. Tracy New. Kira Lynn Nguyen. Vincent Nguyen. James Nguyen. Catherine Nguyen. Teresa Min Tran Nguyen. Zachary Vong Hui Nguyen. Jude Allen Ortel. David O. Haley Michelle Olala. Hannah Marie Olson. Grace Lynn Ostrin. Stella A. Osley. Adrian Torres Pacheco. Addison Rose Packham. Hayden Lynn Palmer. Christian Park. Mohit D. Patel. Jaden Victor Pierce. Anthony Jean Perez Jr. Peyton Douglas Peters. Raleigh Michael Peterson. Lena Chelsea Peterson. Kennedy Melina Pettit. Nguyen Pham. Down here in this. Evan Lee Fong. Quina Pisalan. Sean Robert Pluffet. Alexander Dominic Pomkala Marquez. Trinity Mema Pau Pau Por Tosano. Caitlin Elaine Primo. Lily Ann Price. Lacey M. Pullins. 
Ronan Jason Quigley. Denise Ramirez Sanchez. Bailey Grace Rasmussen. Angelina Ratsasek. Daniel Ryan Ray. Jaden Dwight Reed. Jordan Renee Richline. Isabella Lucia Rexporo. Lex Kaylin Renshaw. Alex Jung Hoon Ro. Jay Rickard. Gavin Jacob Ripley. Yadriana Paula Rivera Hernandez. Mia Rivera Ortega. Carolina Elizabeth Rodriguez. Angela Cristobal Rodriguez Vasquez. Callie Nicole Ronquillo. Damien J. Rosensteel. Tristan David Ruby. Phoenix Alexander Ruiz. Leo Ruiz Torres. Gabriella Peyton Russell. Sarah K. Ruth. Mia Elena Rutiliano. Suda Safi. Jennifer Salazar. Ian James Saltmarsh. Dominic Adrian Sanchez. Aaron Matthew Savage. James Michael Shilden. Carter Matthew Schlegel. Nicholas Ryan Schoenborn. Sadie Rose Safraza. Henry G. Shapalavov. Noah Daniel Shockley. Michael Wesley Simonson. Matthew Thomas Snyder. Zachary Tyler Sun. McKenna Marine Sorensen. Savannah Madison Stahl. Samuel James Steele. David Steele Alvarez. Jacob Stoppelmore. Garrett Mark Struby. Owen Swanson. Matthew Robert Tachney. Chihiro Tanaka. Michael Tapia Lopez. Dana Tat. 
Erin Elaine Taylor. Jaden Robert Telford. Luke Tran. Caden Yo Tren. Amela Trinovac. Andrew Daniel Trong. Evelina Sioma. Tiffany Rebecca Tuan. Rachel Maylie Turner. Vadim Alexandrovich Ursati. Lily Diane Van Dalen. Quinn Jackson Van Dyke. Gina Vang. Alondra Villanueva Duran. Jasmine Kelly Visbell. Christopher Tin Vo. Logan Michael Wacker. Caitlin Joe Wadsworth. Reagan Lee Wally. Ethan Edward Walker. Kalia May Walker. Michael Walsh. Adam Joel Whitman. Alexa Grace Wilkins. Megan Rose Wilson. Amy Wong. Ava Mai Wong. Kai Wong. Aaron Wood. Hayden T. Wright. Jaihao Wu. JJ Wu. Nicola Jing Yi Zhu. Joshua Yu. Vincent Yu. Jonas Zeleke. Silas Zudi. Alan Zen. Travis Zen. Stanley Zhu. Vesevolod Zabakchinsky. to give seated. Let's give one huge round of applause for the graduates of 2023. All right. We are almost there. Now that you have those well-deserved diplomas in your hands, hold them up, shake them. They're not too hard, they'll fall out. Yeah, there we go. That's good. 
All right, it is my pleasure to bring back Rafi Bulaklak and Isabella Rexaporo to the stage to finalize this very special moment. your ASB Commissioner of Equity. And I, Rafi Bulakluk, your Senior Co-Class President. Welcome back to our last Student Council broadcast. Wait, this isn't the intercom. Go, this is graduation. <laughs> Since we're technically leaving behind our K-12 careers, most people think today is a day of goodbyes. I mean, that's what most of our teachers wrote on their whiteboards, what we wrote on each other's yearbooks. But today is the day we begin to write our futures. But after all we've been through, class of 2023, today is not a day of goodbye. Today is for new beginnings, when life opens up to chapter two. In middle school, they told us high school was a fairy tale of doom. And in some ways, it kind of was. We survived disasters in natural history, random fire alarms during first period, and never knowing how to prepare for dynamic temperatures in school. But now that we are here, the precipice of a new future, an opportunity to write a new genre of story for ourselves, we cannot let our fears stop us now. Your story is always changing and your journey is not over yet. Risk it all, because today we start our own new beginning. So, as we move forward into the next chapter of our lives, let's remember we have come so far, done so well, and now all we gotta do is just to keep that pen writing to finish our stories. And now, please join us from moving our tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2023! We did it! it!
for attending today's graduation ceremonies. Please meet your students outside of the stadium on 18th Street. Parents, guests, and friends, please meet your graduates outside of the stadium on 18th Street. Once again, congratulations.
the night I said, I'll tell you all the story about the jungle and the thief, I said, I'll tell you all the story about the jungle and the thief, I said, I'll tell you all the story about the jungle and the thief, I said, I'll tell you all the story about the jungle and the thief, I said, I'll tell you all the story